What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Pitt in our first game of our third season and we ended up winning by a touchdown but as you can see by the score it was a defensive battle neither team could really get in the end zone all that often but thankfully we was able to come out on top and today we're going to take a little trip down to Austin, Texas and take on the number one team in the country, the Texas Longhorns. They are your reigning national champions. If you remember uh, a couple of videos ago, I showed you that Texas won every single award you could possibly think of last year. They technically had an ideal perfect season, going undefeated, winning every award, had 45 All-Americans, this, that, and the other. And that's what we're going to go up against today. Now, I'm sure some of those guys have gone on uh, to the pros, all that good stuff. But as you can tell, they are loaded with talent. Their stats look really good after playing just one game. Looks like their defense didn't have the best game, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. It's going to be an uphill battle. Now, they run a spread offense. Now, I I'm pretty sure the playbook is considered pro-style. But I'm pretty sure they have quite a few spread sets in there as well. And I'm pretty sure they run a 4-3 defense. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's check out some recruiting. Now we are narrowing our focus to just three guys. Tight end Kyle Young out of New Jersey. Dustin McCoy, wide receiver out of Florida. And tackle Corey Clemens out of Georgia. Let's go up to the very top to the tight end, Kyle Young. As you can tell, he's already narrowed down his list to the top five. We are way ahead of everybody else at this point. A lot of it has to do with just putting so many points on the kid. Now, it looks like we don't have a positive pitch yet. Hopefully, we can find that eventually. We can go to Dustin McCoy, the wide receiver. We're in good shape here. We're number one on his list. We will probably stay there due to the amount of points we're putting on him. We just don't know what he likes yet. And last but not least, Corey Clemens. He's narrowed down his top five for number one on his list. It's the same thing, though. We just don't know what he likes yet. But I think we got a really good chance of getting all three guys, mainly because, again, we're putting so much attention on these kids. They about can't help but want to commit. Let's check out some team info screens. Now, there's really nothing to see in terms of conference standings and such because there has been no teams uh, played a conference game yet. But we can check out the team info screen, and there's not a whole lot to see here either, really. Gates, Horton, and Wade are kind of doing their thing on offense with Thornton, Nichols, and Allen on defense. But again, we just played one game. This is going to change quite a bit throughout the course of the season. Now, let's go ahead and check out Texas. Their first game, they beat Utah by 21 points. They got our halfback out today, but he's not their best halfback. I'm pretty sure the Charles kid is their best halfback. He got 102 yards in that game. Look at Jackson Shipley. If anybody remembers seeing him, he was a good receiver back in the day. He had 144 yards receiving and a couple of touchdowns. And you look at their defense, Kelson Arakpo. That is the older brother. The younger brother, I think both of them are in the league. I don't really remember. I'm not very keen on my Texas football history, but I remember the name. And that is pretty much it. They're just loaded for bear, so it should be quite the challenge. And it looks like nobody is in trouble this week. We should get our other middle linebacker back today, which is nice. Now, I want to check. This is our default away uniforms. I don't mind using these because th uh, this, oh, we're not going to, yeah, this is our new default home uniform, but we're going to go with the Stormtrooper white look. All right, let's get into the game. The play we want to focus on the day is weak tight tight end drags. Now, this is a mesh concept coming from a 22 personnel formation, meaning you got two running backs and two tight ends with one wide receiver. Now, a mesh concept is very simple. It's an air raid staple. You've got a crossing route slash drag route, kind of a mix. It could be two uh, drag routes. It could be any combination of those. And... As you can tell, we are on the right hash, and the reason why I play this on the right hash is because I, my one zone beater, this A right here, is this drag route coming underneath. But this play really shines against man. You got a post route going over the top as a cover zero beater, and if that doesn't work out, you can go to the crossing route going from right to left, and your tight end does a great job of putting himself between his defender and the ball, so it's very tough for that defender to make a play. And if that doesn't work out, you can always go back to the drag route underneath just a great play overall and it looks like we have a night game in austin texas it's been a while since i played in this stadium out of all of the power five conferences the big 12 is the one 
that it's been the longest since I have done a dynasty in. So if I ever go back and do a dynasty in the in the Power Five conference, this is the one I would do it just because it's just been way too long. I'm just glad we're going to have good weather. And here come arguably the greatest team ever last season. I mean, they just swept everything. It was incredible. Maybe we could put on a good show today. They're going to highlight their quarterback. Had a really good game in the first game against Utah. And they are predicting Texas to win as expected. Let's go to the coin toss. They want it and they will receive it, which is fine by me. Let's check out their roster. But before we do that, I want to go to formation subs. And like I mentioned earlier, we have Walker back. This kid right here, he was the Juco that we picked up, who's just as talented as Mason. So what we are going to do is I am going to try him at nickel. I pretty much do go back and forth between 4-3 and nickel all the time. I rarely, if ever, use dime, unless I'm just loaded at corner, which I'm technically not. And I don't do 4-4 four, four anymore. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have them split their touch or their uh, possessions. Let's put it that way. Or their plays, I, I guess. So let's go ahead and go to depth chart. Let's check out how loaded this Texas roster is. Starting off, quarterback Matt Thompson, 84 overall. Just 68 speed. So he's a pocket passer. I'm going to blitz him as best I can today. And look who is behind him. Little Colt McCoy. If anybody knows who that is. Halfback. So their top player is out today. Wow, that's a gift. Jamal Charles. Yes, this kid was an awesome ball player back in the day. I'm sure he'll do fine today. But we got lucky here. That means they are probably not going to run Ramshot all over us today. At least I hope not. Fullback, 90 overall. Then they got their wide receivers. That's Jordan Shipley. I'm thinking of his little brother, Jackson Shipley. I wonder if he's on this roster. I, don't, I guess he isn't. But this is Jordan Shipley. My bad. Anyway, 88, 87, 85. Pretty good looking wide receiver core. I'd love to have at least a couple of those guys. Because as you can tell, we are really struggling at wide receiver. We need to get that fixed somehow, some way. You go to tight end. Stephen Hogan, apparently the best tight end in the country, 94 overall, 82 speed, 80 catch, just your ideal tight end. Really big as well. You look at the offensive line, 84, 78, 86, 84, 86. I wonder how many guys that they left or that they lost from last season. Probably quite a few. You look at their defensive ends, 86 and 84 on the edge. Defensive tackle, 98 overall, arguably the best Defensive tackle in the country. Then you got 87, 87, 78. You look at their linebackers, 96 overall. Maybe the best outside linebacker in the country. Although, I think uh, this kid right here has something to say about that, though. I think this kid's going to be real special for us. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, this kid's incredible. You look at middle linebacker, 88, 84. You look at right outside linebacker, 88. So that is as good as a linebacker unit I've seen in, in a while. You look at the corners. A bit of a weakness here. Unfortunately, our wide receivers are not that great either. But 78, 78, 78, a bunch of young guys in here. Free safety at 85 overall, Marcus Griffin. And then you got strong safety, Michael Thomas at 80 overall, and his backup is just the same. Wow, that's a really good strong safety. True freshman, 80 overall. So their secondary isn't the best in the world. Maybe we can take advantage of that. Our passing game needs to do a whole lot better than it did in the last game. Kicker, 85 overall. Pretty strong. Arguably the best kicker in the country, although my guess he won that award based off a lot of extra points and such. But anyway, true sophomore at 85 overall is pretty good. And look at that. True freshman, 82 overall punter, John Dickerson. So this is going to be the best special teams unit you will see in the next two to three years in the country them being that young and that talented. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I don't see any impact guys on the back end. So I'm going to kick this straight. And we'll see what happens. It's a good tackle. Now, since their impact running back is out today, I don't know how much they're going to pass or throw. They don't have any impact guys out there right now. 
today more than ever as they go so i'll play some zone and we'll just see how often they do this that and the other we're gonna start off with a run off tackle pick up eight we can go cover two man my guess is they may just try to pick up the first down here with a run so technically yeah they do have a pro style playbook but when a little fullback over wow but when uh, Vince Young was there, they went 11 personnel out of the gun the entire time, and I don't blame them. We could try man again. Do something like this, perhaps. Going to pass it. Nope, QB draw. Uh-oh. Took a bad angle on that one. Easy first down there. QB draws from the gun work halfway decent in this game. I don't use them enough if I... It just depends on which offense I'm running, of course. I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. I'm hoping they go play action here. Right now, none of what we are calling is working at the moment. So going drop back. Wide open on the left. Little swing route. It's good zone beater. We can go back to man. Going full house, not the best formation in the world. It could be with the right routes, but it just got some very average plays. Up the gut running. Oh, look at that blocking. Easy seven yards there. I'll probably stay in man for a while. Looks like they are pretty determined to run the ball. I'm going to leave it all as is. Another run. First down. Uh, let's take another chance with the zone blitz. They keep going too wide, so we'll stick with this for now. Went with the counter. Make a tackle. Good job there. I would go back to a zone blitz, but we'll go back to man. They're moving right down the field pretty easily, though. We need somebody to make a play. Another fullback over. I love that play. Such a killer in this game. Didn't get much on that one, though. So it is third and seven. That's what we want. We're going to go cloud. If we can hold them to a field goal of some sort, that would be amazing. Now I've got the middle of the field. Let's see how good this quarterback is. Going P.A. Reed. Ah, oh, good catch. I just Somebody had to come down with it. That was a good throw right where it needed to be, but it was up to that safety to go back there and make a play, and he couldn't. And just like that, they have scored the first touchdown of the game. Hopefully we can go right back at him with the touchdown. Now, I'm going to run as much clock as possible. Try to keep it away from this offense, because as you could tell, they had no issues whatsoever on that drive. We are going to, let me think. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, their stadium has been, you know, this game is like 15 years old or so. Their stadium has drastically in, improved over the years. It's humongous now. They've just upgraded the, both end zones. Middle of the field, I'm going to just take a knee here. Let's work on some of this ace normal. And we're going to change this one. Do that. Now, we're in the middle of the field, so I'm going to go ahead and try a deep cross up. We're going zone nickel. We're going to go after that safety if possible. Nope, blitz. Good catch by Wright. I'm glad at least he caught it. Good catch there. We can try a slam with Horton. Second and three coming up. We can go back and look. They blitzed onto the right, so I couldn't roll out. I probably could have. I could have been patient with my right tackle if he would have picked him up right there, and he did. So that's kind of my fault. We probably had a chance to do something there, but I just wasn't patient enough. I am going to... We're going to run to the right, but I'm going to run as much clock as possible. That's going to be our best defense for the day, I think. 
Hopefully we can pick up a first stand that can open up our play calling a little bit. Get this down to a couple of seconds. Just enough for the first down. Let's run a toss with Drummer. They're going man dime, but they're blitzing that right nickel. I'm going to bring this guy over. We're going to go to the left. we got more field to play with. I want to leave my tight end over there. I got the tight end sub package in there because I think he can block a little bit better. Ooh, nope. Wow, that defensive end was fast. So where are we? We're at second and 12. We can try. Halfback angle. For going man. Now, I wonder who's on Parker, a big tight end. He is an impact dude. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as he is. They go cover zero. I'll go to him just because of his height. They're going cover one. Good catch by Myrick, but we didn't get a whole lot out of it. They went cover one. So it is third and five. Can I? We're going to try. Then you can launch one big one. Tight end delay. Hopefully they go man. If they don't, they're going man. So we may be able to get a first down. If they was going to go zone, it would been a little bit tougher. Now I'm going to go to drummer here. Ah, dang it. Right guard moved. Well, that didn't help things. So now we, that forces us to change something up. But now we got to go tight end cross. They're going zone. I'm going to go to Buttles if I can, unless they go cover three. I wonder if Wright can hear this hot route. And he can't. So this route may be a little bit tougher to throw to the post. The clock is still running. I'm going to let it do so. But we'll just read the coverage and work off of that. Cover two. Oh my gosh, what a throw that was. Just insane. Jeez, right where it needed to be. Great throw by Gates. Wow, awesome. Okay, let's try. Eh, let's go here. I'm going to fake them out a little bit. We're going to go. Let's do off tackle with Horton. Man nickel. I hope the linebacker is going to be on that receiver. And he is. Good deal. So I'm going to motion this dude over. We can get just halfway decent blocking, then I think we can get a good gain. Wow, that was a good hit. We got about five yards. We stayed in bounds. That is the end of the first quarter really quick because, again, I'm running a ton of clock. We're down a touchdown, but I like where we're at at the moment. I think we're doing just fine. Let's go P. Reed. They're going zone 4-3. I'll probably just toss this to Drummer. I got other zone beaters, but I want to keep this simple and safe. <laughs> nice little first down. You go back and look at this. I could have went to my post up here. I could have went. There was nobody open over the middle. But I was going to go to Drummer for pretty much the entire way. But nice little spin move. Just enough to pick up the first down. So we are on the left hash. What can we call from here? I want to... Let's try... I want to go back. Let's do fullback over ourselves. How about that? We haven't got to call it yet. They're going man 4 3. The clock has stopped since they tackled us out of bounds. We're going to bring this guy over. Nope. Good defense all around. Good linebacker. Best linebacker in the country, maybe. We can try a deep cross up again. They're going zone. If we can get some decent protection and maybe a little patience on my part, we can maybe go after that strong safety. But we're still in the field. We're running clock. We're going to let it do so. We need to score some points on this drive. I don't know how often we're going to get to be down here this often against a team like this. So we need to take advantage of it. Oh, what a throw. Six points. Ah. Gates is feeling it. He's feeling it. What a great throw by the sophomore. Right where it needed to be. 
I think he got hit as soon as he threw it. But ended up being right where I wanted it. Okay, let's kick an extra point. That was a good drive right there. And the big thing is, look, we haven't had one drop pass yet. And how many did we have last game? Six? Everybody caught their passes. It makes a difference when you can catch a ball, you know? That's a perfect drive for us. It was three and a half minutes. We scored. We need to do that about four or five more times today. So let's kick this thing back off. That should be a really good kick right down the middle. He will return it. Uh-oh. Okay. Good deal. Now, I am... We can go back and look at their stats. They were pretty... They ran the ball a whole lot more than they threw it. So we'll stick with Maya for now. I'm sure they'll... We'll, uh, they'll sneak in a play action or two. Kind of running a balanced set. We're going to stick with... Ooh, ooh. Thank the Lord for Nichols coming through with that tackle. They had amazing blocking there. You look right here. That's... A, man... If he wasn't there, that was going to be daylight six points because I got picked up pretty easily by the tackle. I'm going to take a chance on his own blitz. I have that feeling. Go play action. I have full house. This is this formation, one positive it does have, it, it's very hard to get a sack on a quarterback with this. Get it, get it, get it. Yes, toss play. Awful play in the game. Doesn't work well. And now we are... At third and forever. Man, if we can get a stop here, that would be incredible. We would get good field position. Let's do something like this. See if our edge rushers can get to the outside. Went P.E. Reed again. Over the middle. Good tackle. Not enough for the first, so we're going to force a punt. Now, due to the location of the punt, we are going to try to return this thing. If I went for an all-out block, they would probably come in to protect. Looks like if we can get a block or two on the right here, we can pick up a yard. Uh, get something for Drummer. So we are on the right hash. What I want to do is we're going to go here. We are going to go with halfback angle. They're going man. I'm going to leave it as is. We're going to go to somebody on the left. Cover one. Terrible. Oh, man. Thank the Lord that corner decided not to intercept that thing. That was pick six. Did I throw it too early? No. He just... He got stuck. Did you see that? Myra got... If I can put my cursor on him, he got stuck on the corner. He stopped. We're very fortunate nothing bad happened there. Okay, second and ten. Let's make that up. Let's try to do halfback direct with Orton. Zone nickel. Don't shift hard to the right, please. Thank you. Nickel defense. Get a block. Get a block. Get a block, son. Take it. Ah, 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 ah. Great run all around. Great blocking. Bringing in that extra blocker made all the difference there. Great run. So we are on the 27. Let me think. Let's go. It's on my mind. We are going to call. I always forget this formation. It, th this formation is really good. It's a good West Coast formation. They're going man. I wonder if Parker can hear this. He may not be able to. I can't. Ooh, offsides. We'll take it. Good deal. So that's first and five. So tit for tat. I'm going to call the same play. Ah, now they're going zone. Since that's the case, and he can't hear that either. So we're just going to bounce this to Horton. We're going to let that clock roll. No point in calling an audible or anything. This play works a whole lot better against man than zone, but you can attack zone with it. Like we're fixing to do here. No, they're going man. They went man. Oh, that confused me. So we had a second and five. Let's go off tackle with Drummer. Down and Zone 4-3. Clock has stopped. Good blocking, everybody. Nice. First down. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to call our big tight end play if we can make it work. Let's see. Let's go right here. We're going man. 
now what I want to do, we don't, I don't know if we got enough room to go over the top with right. It's going to be tough if they go cover zero. If not, we're going to go to Parker. That's our second read. And technically, we can go to Wade. But the other two routes are better against man. We're going to get this thing down to a couple of seconds. Go and cover zero. Make a play. Oh, my gosh. Perfect room. Just enough. And guess what? He caught it, too. Yeah, right. It's feeling it. Gates, perfect throw. Awesome play right there. I'm going to see if I can find a good thumbnail shot. You never know what's going to be a really good one. So I did have enough room. I didn't know if I was going to run out of room or not, but he caught it right where I wanted it to be. So let's kick an extra point. They have less than two minutes to go. And he hits the PAT. So they seem the determined to run the ball more. But I'm curious to see what they will call on this next drive. If they're going to keep it normal or going to treat it like a two-minute drill. Kicks it off. Good kick right down the middle, but he will return it. Charles feels it at the three. Good stop. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball. Let's, I'm going to go quarters. I think they're going to start throwing. I'm going to do an over front. Going pass. Ooh, good play by the defensive tackle. Got a hand up. I think they're going to pass again. I'm going to take a chance on the zone blitz. Ooh, is, I don't know if this will work or not. We'll see. Going to pass, though. That is going nowhere. Good play there. I'm going to let that clock roll. I'm not worried about that. But it is third and long again. Man, if we can get another stop here, that'd be great. So I can already tell this team is not as good as what they had last year. And I don't even know what they had. But last year, they just had an amazing season. And my guess is they lost a ton of starters. They still got a lot of talent. But if you remember, they got a lot of young talent. So here in about another year or so, they'll compete for another national title. I mean, they'll probably do it again this season. Unless we can do something about that. Ooh, he's wide open. Uh, make a play. Just enough. Good deal. Fourth and nine. So guess what? We have a minute and 18 to go. All three timeouts. And good field position. Should. Perfect scenario for us to go right down the field and score before half. Let's see if Drummer could do something here. I'm going to... I'm going to just do this. We're going to get, get down. We're going to be in the middle of the field again. We're going to go back to deep cross up. Back to zone. Last time we called it, it worked really well. Let's see if we can have the same thing happen. Nope, that ain't happening. Nope, sack. Good play. Minute six. I am... What I'm going to do... I'm going to go direct. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. If we get a good game here then I'm going to try, then I can call a timeout. Otherwise, I may just try to run clock. But let's go ahead and snap it. Yeah, we're going to get a first down. Good deal. I probably should have went out. I probably should have went out of bounds on that one. So I got to call a timeout. That's a good play, though. So let's go. Offensive line. Let's go halfback angle. They're going man. Now, I can't hot route anybody. I don't really need to. But I think that impact player is on my tight end. Going cover two, so I don't have to go to him. Oh, good throw. Good throw. Jeez, that was great. He had to come back down for it. You notice over here. It actually ended up being a bit of a short throw, but it was enough to where the corner could not get in position for it. So it ended up being a perfect throw. So now we're able to get out of bounds. Saved us a timeout. We are on the 43. I'm going to go with crossers. Please go man. They're going zone, so this should be interesting. This isn't the best zone beater in the world. I'm going to bring this guy over. Oh, he's going to get intercepted. Oh, we got very lucky there. I'm going to have to stop calling that play. It gets too iffy against zone. So let's stay here, and let's go to wide receiver clear outs. They're going zone. We got a couple of zone beaters. I'm trying to get out of bounds. And... Eh, there we go. 
That was a good play right there. Third and two. Let's probably, we probably need to stay in the gun here. Let's go tight end delay. We'll flip it. They're going zone. Now, this is going to be interesting. I forgot about this. Nobody's going to be able to hear any of this. Clock a stop still. He still can't hear that. He can't hear that either. He needs to get over there. We'll go over. Ah, dang it. Terrible throw. Fourth and two on the 35. Um, I'm going to call the same thing. I'm going to see what they do. They're going zone. We're going to call another timeout. I got one more time out left. I'm going to call something else. We're too far out to kick a field goal. We're not far away to do any to punt it. So we're going to go back. Let's go wide receiver clear outs again. We're going man now. The key is who's on Myrick. I bet it's that linebacker. Hopefully it's not. Cover zero. Surely not. Go right. Get it, son. Ah! <laughs> right is having the game of his life right now. What a play. They went cover zero on fourth and two. Well, got to take advantage of it. I'm here to tell you, that number 19 of ours, that quarterback, he is playing at a high level at the moment. He's had one bad throw. That's it. And just like that, we're up two scores. So let's go back and survive these next 23 seconds before we can get the ball back in the third. Make good decisions, everybody. Good tackle there. This team is a shell of themselves without their starting running back. If he was playing today, we'd be in a world of hurting. So they're going goal line. Fine by me. They're just going to run out the clock. We just don't need anything goofy happen here. Going to the fullback. Just make a tackle. And that's the end of the first half. That's as good as a first half as we could ask for. Up two scores on the supposedly number one team in the country. They don't look like it now. Again, their best player is out. And I don't think they have the talent like they did last season. So we can check out some stats. Only 96 yards for them. Yeah, they're just not getting to do a whole lot. They don't have one impact player out there today. That's a gut punch for them. Now, they're not doing well on third down. Both teams are playing clean on the turnover front. Looking at the rest of this, a couple of those penalties were pivotal for us. We probably would be up three scores if we didn't have that one penalty. Or did we score that drive? Maybe we did. I already forgot. Either way, let's go to individual stats. Their quarterback is playing fine, but he doesn't get to do a whole lot. They're trying to run the ball quite a bit. And thankfully, our defense is doing a halfway decent job on it. Let's check out our stats, though. 9 of 13 for Gates. Three touchdowns, no picks. He is just playing really well. Running the ball. Horton and Drummer. Drummer's not getting to do a whole lot. I need to get him involved a little bit more. But it's Horton who's doing his thing. You look at receiving. This is the thing right here. This is what's really elevating our offense right now. Wright is having the game of his life. Buttles is playing well. Myrick. Everybody is catching the ball. We haven't had one drop today. Good deal. You go to defense. Everybody's contributing pretty evenly on the tackle front. We had one tackle for loss. No sacks and no interceptions. Before we head back into the video, I just wanted to point out a few things that I have in my store. Starting off with the memory cards for the PlayStation 2 that has over 20 named roster files for all of the NCAA football games from 02 up to 11. And then, of course, I have all of my books that I have written over the years from my latest one, the West Coast Offense, the Out Raid Offense, and you got the Big Book of Tight Ends, the Power Shoot. Then you got the I Option, PA Read, Pro Dog, Run and Shoot, and so much more. So I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. Let's get back into it. We do get the ball started in the third quarter. Let's play well like we have been, and let's see if we can pull off the upset. Now, we may have a decent return here if the blocking is good. Go, son. Go, son. Go, son. Oh, he got way. 
Great return by the freshman corner. And we're on the right hash. I'm going to go with double ounce drag. They're going zone. I got a couple options here. I can go to right or to Riley. Easy throw, pick up a solid five, six yards. We're going to stay in this formation. I'm going to go back to slam with Horton. They're going zone for a three. Ooh. We're going to go to the left. The clock is running. We're going to let it do so. I'm going to motion Buttles over. Get us an extra blocker. Get away from that impact linebacker who's a stud. Do something like this. Nobody moved. Oh, good defense. Yeah, came right on through. So what is what? Third and third and five? I'm gonna try. I really hope this works. We're gonna go halfback angle. Ah, they're going zone again. We got a couple zone options. We can go to our halfback or we can go to Myrick. So R1 or circle. It'd be great if the middle of the field opened up a little bit. I'd love to go to Drummer. If that doesn't work, then we'll see what happens. Ooh, first down. Nice. Nice. True freshman. Making plays out there. Good run. Let's try fullback over again. I think the last time that we ran it, it didn't work at all. You can tell they flipped their formation as well. We're still in the middle of the field. We're going to let that clock run. Get this thing down to a couple seconds, and we'll see if Drummer can make some magic happen. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, please don't fumble it. Please don't fumble it. Fumble. And guess who happened? Guess what happened? Impact linebacker got in the way, forced the fumble. Well, that's a big play right there. I'm going to try and zone blitz. Let's see if Texas can capitalize on it. We'll do something like this. Nope, run right out the gut. This may be a bad play. Ooh, we're very fortunate he only picked up eight. They're determined to run the ball. We'll go back to man. We'll see what happens here. Counter. Pick up the first. I would go back to his own blitz, but I feel like they're just they're determined to run the ball all day. But I'll stick with the same defense. I would love the shift, but uh oh uh oh oh good block. Wow, just good play right there. Their fullback overplay is working well. Henry Melton, if anybody remembers him, I I do know a little bit of Texas football history. Let's go back to depth chart. You go to Milton. I wonder if they have him as a halfback. They technically have him as a fullback. Henry Melton came in to Texas as a halfback. But look at his size, 6'3", 280 pounds. But then they eventually had to move him to fullback, maybe tight end. I don't think he'd done anything at Texas in the grand scheme of things, but I remember him solely because of how humongous he was. And he made a good play right there. So let's uh, let's take another chance with zone blitz. I'm able to go play action this time. We'll do something like this. Play action. Oh, wide open over there. What play do they call? How in the world did he get wide open? I'm going to go back and look at this. They're going strong, normal. Oh, I don't know what play they're calling. It's a bit of a stick concept. Technically, that was a curl on the outside, but... Okay, interesting play. Strong, normal's got some halfway decent plays in it. We'll do something like this. Got to stop somebody. Oh, wow, wow, jeez. I spinned on them earlier. Now they took a spin on me. Look at this cut right here. And they took advantage of the turnover. You can't have turnovers in football. That's the number one stat in the sport. You got to get that under the control. And unfortunately, we're on the bad end of it on the last one. 
So now we still have a lead. It's just a single score lead. It's good to see him capitalize, though. They should have. So let's see if we can get that touchdown back. Try not to turn the ball over. That'd be great. Middle of the... Nope, kind of on the left side. I'm going to let Drummer see if he can redeem himself. Nope, nothing there. I'm going to go with... We're on the left hash. So we're going to go... I'm going to go P. Reed. We're going man for a three. I may leave this as is. And we're going to see if... Cover one. Ah! Good goal! Oh, man, that was a good try. That's good defense, though. Second and ten, we can try and direct, see if we can make that up. We're going zone dime. Ooh, this ain't good. I'm still going to go to the right, though. Good block right there. Good blocking. Just enough to get the first. We need that guy to catch to touch the ball a lot today. So we're going to go right back to him. I'm going to go with this play right here. We're going to try halfback blast with Horton. It's first and ten. Zone 4-3. I'm going to try to go up the gut on this one. Now, the clock is moving, so we're going to let it do so. <clears throat> and depending on what happens on second down, I think I'm going to go back to this same pass play we called from earlier from this same formation. Technically, the crowd doesn't go as hostile. Get a field. Get a field. Not a whole lot there. So we're going to try this play. We're going to try it only because... Where's it at? Tight end post. So it's man, and as you can tell, the crowd isn't really into it. It's usually a second down thing. Now, they're double teaming him. Thankfully, I got a couple other man beaters. Ah, he still can't hear that. That's okay. We can still use that as a cover zero beater. But I have a good feeling he is going to try to go with that post round. They're going to cover once. It's not going to matter. Ah, it's not the best throw in the world. So it is, what, third and ten? Third and seven. We'll go back to tight end cross. Going zone. He can't hear that. As expected. Look, last time we called this play, it worked really well. Cover three. Ah, good defense. I have no choice but to punt this. Well, the third quarter has been all Texas. Oh, he could have blocked that. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. Somebody get over there quick. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. The punter makes the game save and tackle. <laughs> okay. But they have all the momentum in the world at the moment. We got to find a way to stop them. Counter. They're running. They're loving this counter stuff. I, ow, I swear. Just a bad play on my part. I should have had him. We'll go back to man cover two. Texas is starting to pick things up a bit. Another counter. Oh, ow. Awful. I'm usually not that terrible on the open field. And just like that, they're fixing time this ball game. I am going to do a zone blitz because I'm thinking they're going to score anyways unless something goofy happens. So we're going to try that. Do something like this. Maybe they will go play action. Nope, right up the gut. Good stop, though. True freshman with the tackle. I'm going to try another zone blitz. Please pass the ball this time. I know they're determined to run it. Do something like this. Toss. And he's going to get a touchdown off of this. I swear. I swear. That toss never works. Yet they made it work on that one. And just like that, they're about to tie it up. And that's the end of the third quarter. So that third quarter went as bad as you could expect. They got two touchdowns. We didn't get anything. We had a turnover, and we had a, a punt. And 
So all we can do is try to play better in the fourth quarter. So let's try to do that. Good game. Pretty entertaining. Let's see if we can do something here. Let's see if the true freshman can make another big play. Nope. Not a whole lot of protection. Let's do a toss play with Horton. We're going man. I'm going to go to the left unless they shift hard. Get over there. Uh-oh, he's got some room. Somebody block that kid. Oh, get off me, son. Get off me, son. Go, 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 go. Oh, my gosh, what a play. Horton, the man, the myth, the legend. Gosh, what a, a monstrous play right there. Incredible. Go back and look at this. Great toss. Now, my tight end got destroyed off the edge, but we was able to work around that. And we had all this room to work with. Oh, just a great play. Okay, let's settle down. Let's go full back over. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here. I didn't think about this. There are linebackers on that side. I would love to flip it, but it's, that's not going to work. The clock is rolling. Please don't turn the ball over. My next couple of plays need to go to Horton. Get a block on him, son. Six points. Get that touchdown back. Wow, what a fun game. Both teams are going back and forth. And just like that, we got the lead again. Got to figure out what to do on defense, though. They've kind of put a number on us last two drives. I'm going to stay in man more than likely and just try our best to shut down the run. I'm not playing very well at free safety today. It's been a hit and miss, more miss than hit. Just in the open field, I've just been goofing up. But I like that challenge. It's a lot tougher to for me to roll with a free safety than a linebacker. And this isn't the best kick in the world. Actually, it's a perfect kick. It's a touchback. All right, man, 4-3, cover two. Let's try to keep everything in front of us. Try our best to not have me try to make the tackle. I need somebody in the front seven to do something here. Somebody penetrate through that offensive line would be great. Oh, that's what the toss play is supposed to look like. <laughs> Good play there. Still on a big set. So our other middle linebacker hasn't got to play a whole lot today because Texas has been in a 4-3 all day. Okay, this is the quarterback play. Ooh, wrong. Ooh, that could have been crazy play if he would have converted that, but they didn't. And guess what? Third and long. This is what we need. And our other middle linebacker, Walker, he is out there. He is our nickel guy at the mic position. I've got the middle of the field. Oh, he's wide open. Wow, big play. Big play right there. I would never make a throw like that. I'd be too scared of the safety would make a play, but ours didn't, as you could tell. So that Walker kid is pretty good. Every time he catches something, it's usually for a big gain. Somebody make a play out there on our end. Oh, off tackle. Oh, damn. So I'm loving their offense. They're doing a lot of pulling. And we got a player hurt. Is that our middle linebacker? I think it is. I'm loving their run game. They're doing a lot of pulling, a ton of counter, ton of just pulling guards, this, that, and the other. And it's working pretty well, too. Some of the counters in this game work pretty well. I need to run an offense like that eventually. Very ISO heavy, pulling and whatnot. Not zone related. It's a lot of pull. And I do some pulling with my QB choice. I get some of that, but wow. Okay, so they're moving the ball on us. The clock is slowly winding down. Pull back over. That's a good counter. Oh, look at this kid. Jeez. That's a good counter to any of the counters that they're calling. 
I'm going to stay in man. I think they're going to keep running the ball until they get in the end zone. We need a turnover badly. Now they're going up the gut this time. Somehow he got six yards out of that, six, seven yards. I'm going to just do a rant. We're going to do a zone blitz or something out of the blue. Let's see if they react to that poorly. Please go play action here. That'd be great. Good defense, Al. Good defense. So it is what? Third and four. They're going with the big Santa. It's going to force me to go 4-3. I'd rather do this than try to do goal line. I don't think it works as well. Do something like this. Up the gut. Oh, my gosh. He just way too easy of a fumble. Get it, get it. Oh, you got to be kidding. And just like that, they're about to tie it up again. How about them Longhorns? Wow, that was a good hit. And somehow the tight end gets a touchdown. He wasn't expecting that. So guess what? We got to go back on offense and do the same thing. Try to score another touchdown. Maybe we can run a bunch of clock, but I'd prefer to score more than anything else. Well, this has been by far the most entertaining game I've been a part of in, in a while. Just, just a lot of back and forth. But kudos to Texas. They made a good comeback in the third quarter. So now both offenses are kind of doing their thing. So let's see if this freshman can do something. I'm going to give him another chance. Get out of that way. Great run by Butler. That's why I got him out there with a 99 speed. Let's run the ball with Horton. Zone 4-3. I'd love to run the rest of this clock down. I'm not a big fan of that shift by that line, but maybe we can get a block on that defensive lineman. Nope. Face mask. Thank you. We'll take it. Luck. A gift. It's only a five-yarder, but we'll take it. Uh, let's try. We're going to do a toss with Drummer. Man nickel. The clock's still running. He's on him. Good deal. That's what I want to see. I'm going to bring this guy over. We're going to go to the left. Let that clock run as much as possible. I got plenty of time. I got all three timeouts. The goal is to get right down here, chew up the rest of this clock, and score a touchdown and end this thing. I'm just going to get down. I want to stay in bounds. I, don't, I want to run clock. But along the way, we need to pass a time or two as well. So here they're going man-dime. I may run this one if they don't shift hard. Ooh, they're not going to shift hard. We're going to do something like this. I'm going to let that clock run some more. We need our left tackle to get a good block here. Center on the mic would be great as well. Nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> that was all kinds of goofy. So left tackle. He struggled a bit. Spooked me. I'm like, ooh, can't go that way. I'm like, nope, can't go up the center either. How about we go back around again? <laughs> Jeez. So it's second and six. Let's try. Let's go halfback angle. They're going zone. I'm okay with this. Minute 25, the clock has stopped. So we can go ahead and snap this. That's a good play. Somebody got a hand on it, so it's third and six. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to go halfback direct with Horton again. They're blitzing both inside guys. Oh, man. Oh. Can't do this. How about we bring this guy over? Get a block, everybody. Get a block. Just enough. Get around. Get out of bounds. So they blitz both inside guys. We was able to overcome that, so it is. First of ten. We are. Let's try. Let's do a toss with Horton. We're going man. I'm going to go to the right. Clock is stopped. Oh, bad play. 
we lost the yards. So we're going to have to start passing, I think. So it's second and 14. Let's go halfback angle. We're going man. We're going to go to somebody on the left, but look what's going to happen. Wade is on that impact guy. Dang it. Or the impact guy's on him, I should say. And, of course, our true freshman tied in on the right. Can't hear that either. Go ahead and snap it. Ooh, bath throw. Third and 14 on the 35. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't I am. He does his best to knock the ball down. I'm going to run the ball first. The offense faces another third down. Zone dime. Because we're going to do something on fourth down. We got no choice. The devil come out in the ace formation. Gates options out. Pitches back. Make a play. Make a play. Get up. Go and get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. <laughs> Just enough. Okay, so we're on the 11-yard line. Let's think. Let's go. I'm going to go here, and we're going to just do a basic run. I still got three timeouts. I'm good. Zone nickel. Ooh, nickel. You do that. And they're going zone. They don't even have their impact guy out there either. I am going to go this way. We're going to bring him over. The clock has stopped. Nothing there. Just don't fumble it. That's okay. I'm I'm contemplating like just taking a knee the rest of the way and kicking a field goal, but I don't trust my kicker nor myself to make that kick. <laughs> so we're going to try to get in the end zone instead. Zone 4-3. I'm going to go back to this. I'm just trying to find ways to get the ball to my best player. We're going to run that clock. I'm not going to give them any chance to score on us. Oh, almost got in. Third and one. Let's call a timeout. We didn't get out of bounds. I don't think we did. So let's go offensive line. We're going to go to the one guy who hasn't got the touch the ball today. I'm going to go. We're going to try. Hopefully this works. We're going to go full back over with ball and please. Good. The linebacker's on that side. That's why I flipped it. Third down. We didn't get the first either. Yep. Let's go ahead and six points, baby. Ah! You notice how I stalled. I was trying to run some more clock. I could tell nobody was near me. I was like, well, let me just sit here for a little bit. But that wasn't smart because look who was coming. Either way, we scored a touchdown. So they have 26 seconds to go. We'll try to play this as smart as we can. Just play good defense. Keep everything in front of us. Technically, we had the perfect drive. It took us as much clock as we could. We scored a touchdown. Now it's all on Texas to see if they can score a touchdown to tie this thing. A great kick right down the middle. Now he's probably going to return it. Somebody get a stop. Okay, let's see how they handle this. Now, Pitt did not handle their situation well last game. I mean, that was about as bad of a two-minute drill as I've ever seen a CPU team have in this game. Let's see if Texas can do a little bit better. They should have all three of their timeouts. Oh, my gosh. No! Oh, my gosh! What happened? You see, look at my... So my free safety decided to stop. Great play by Jordan Shipley. He finally stepped up and done something today. You go back and look at this. Normally what I do when I play defense, when I play the free safety, I let the CPU handle this. I'm not doing anything. I'm letting this, but look what happened. He stopped. He stopped. I know I wasn't expecting him to stop. <sighs> okay. I'm going to... I'm going to do a zone blitz. I think they're still going to pass, I think. I hope. We'll see. And they're going full house. I wanted them to... It said they was going three wide. That's why I went nickel. Hopefully nothing goofy happens here. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a game. Wow. Good protection. I, I mean, I called zone blitz because I was... It said they was going three wide. But they went full house, which is very hard to blitz on. And just like that, they've just got tied it up. Wow, this is a game for the ages. If you're not entertained by this game, then I can't help you. 
So this looks like it's probably going to go in the overtime unless we do something very magical here. We need a humongous return or we need to get a touchback, one of the two. And then we could try a Hail Mary afterwards or something. So they're doing that. We're going to let that one go. So we got 10 seconds. That's two plays. We need this play right here to work. And it's going man. And we got all three timeouts, don't we? So I'm going to call it. No, we got two. Okay. I'm going to call a timeout. I'm going to try this one more time. Because this play works better against zone than man, as we all know. So let's see if this works. Perfect play. Perfect play. Five seconds. Uh, we got no choice but to go Hail Mary, I think. We don't have enough time to do anything else, so that's what we're going to do. So let's go Hail Mary. We're going to go with... We'll go with the halfback version, just because Horton's going to be out there. And they're going zone. Wouldn't it be amazing if we got a touchdown on this? Let's go... We'll bring Buttles over. We're going to go... Over here. Make a play, somebody. Make a play. The greatest game ever. The greatest game ever. I bear oh my gosh. I, I can't think. My head hurts. My heart hurts. Oh my gosh. The greatest game of all time. Magical. This is why you play 06 for games like this. Oh. Wow. Oh, let me think. Let me put my thoughts together. Oh, wow. I hope, wow. Just, I, I don't know what to say. That's the most entertaining game I've ever played in 06. I'm trying to think of one that was anywhere close to that. So much back and forth. We ended up with a Hail Mary victory in the end. Oh, my, okay. And it's only the number two greatest game of all time. What was my number one? I'll have to go back and look at it. Okay, let's look at some stats. I need to hurry this up so I can save this before something goofy happens. So both teams played great offensively. We played really well, but Texas, they really picked things up in the second half. Looking at their, let's, look, let's see here, 251 yards. for Our passing game was great today. Now, of course, a fifth of that came off that one touchdown alone. You look at the third down conversions. Both teams played great on third down. That one turnover got Texas back into the game. You look at the penalties. That I mean, a couple of those affected a couple things, but not too much. But total yards between both teams. Just an incredible offensive performance by both. Let's go check out the individual stats. 13-22, 251 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions. Gates probably had his best game of his career. Running the ball, Horton, 187 yards, 13 yards and average he didn't get in the end zone though drummer did ball did you look at receiving right had the game of his life three touchdowns buttles with the hail mary catch myrick had three catches for 31 yards as a true freshman we got a lot of people got the touch the ball today through the air defense gun lead and tackles freshman corner you look at tackles for loss thorn and nickels no sacks no interceptions but the box score just an incredible, the, the second half, which is absolutely nuts. Texas took over the third quarter, and then in the fourth quarter, it was just all chaos after that. Gee whiz, let's get out of here. Let's check out some scores from the top 25 this week. Of course, we upset Texas in just the greatest game ever. I don't know. It was pretty magical. Then you have Illinois over Florida Atlantic. Florida State over Arkansas State. Auburn over Boise State. Then you have Ohio State over Akron, Wisconsin over UNLV, UCLA over BYU, Oregon upsets Michigan big time, 47 to 14. Then you have Virginia over Tulsa, Maryland over West Virginia. Texas A&M gets upset by Miami, although I don't know how much of an upset that really is in terms of talent. Iowa over Alabama. Then you have Texas Tech over Rice, LSU over Louisiana Tech, Florida over Troy, Nebraska gets upset by Wake Forest. Oregon State over Utah. And Washington beats Oklahoma in apparently a, a classic in and of itself in the win the overtime. Whew, okay. In our next game, we got a bye week. I will probably simulate through that and I can show you what changes, if anything, in the recruiting there. 
But our next game coming up, it's going to be another tough one. we got to go to Virginia, number six team in the country. We got the lead on them. We've won two straight against them. Hopefully we can make it three. But it'll be another uphill battle. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.